warm welcome to all of you. I hope you and your loved ones are safe and maintaining good health. Today, I'm going to share with you some key highlights from Crystal Ratings outlook for the financial sector encompassing both banks and NBFCs. Overall, we believe that the financial sector is in a stronger position today than it has been in the recent years. And therefore, it is well placed to support economic growth going ahead. For banks, we see credit growth picking up to 11 to 12 percent in fiscal 23 from an expected 9 percent plus in the current fiscal. And the main shift we are seeing here is an uptick in the growth trajectory of corporate credit which constitutes 40 percent of the system credit. After being subdued in recent years, we are seeing a clear shift in corporate credit to a higher growth trajectory driven by the project pipeline in the infra sector, expected uptick in private sector capex and especially through the PLI scheme and additional working capital requirements. Also, we expect retail credit growth to continue to be healthy and broad-based. Other factors are also conducive for banks with our expectation of banking NPAs to trend below 6% from a peak of 11.2% as of March 18. Further, the resilience that we see in the banking sector today is also supported by the increased capital buffers and improving profitability. Coming to NBFCs, here again, things are looking better on multiple fronts. NBFCs have seen decadal low growths in the past two years, but next year, we expect growth to revive to 8 to 10%. Another trend we have seen is the organic consolidation happening with the larger NBFCs gaining market share. So if we look at the numbers of the top five NBFCs, their share in asset center management has gone up from 40% to 46% in the three years from March 18 to March 21. In fact, if we exclude the top five and BFCs, the sector AUM growth would have been negative in FY21. As I mentioned, next fiscal, we see growth coming in at 8 to 10% for NBFCs. While this remains lower than the 20% growth uh, seen pre-2018, it is still a significant shift from last fiscal. From a segmental perspective, we see the highest growth coming in the traditional asset classes of gold loans, home loans and vehicle loans, and also in unsecured loans. Loan against property and wholesale loans, we believe, will remain subdued. On NPAs, after rising in recent times, they should also start coming down on an overall basis, though the performance of the restructured book would be a monitorable. NBFCs have also been shoring up their capital, liquidity and provisioning buffers, which should stand them in good stead. Funding access, however, despite showing green shoots in recent quarters, is yet to return to pre-2018 levels. And on that note, I thank you for your time and attention. Until we meet again with another theme, goodbye.